Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to a new video on the How to Make an Accounting System series. Now before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon, so if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. So what I just did here is clone the first egg and renamed it to red egg and set the price to a new price and then I added a folder inside of the pets folder renamed it to red egg and uh, put some pets inside and just set each rarity and made sure that the rarities add up to uh, 100 so that we have a second egg now I'm adding a second egg so that we can avoid every type of bug that can happen with uh, uh, two eggs and I have already found one which is this so if you have two eggs very close to each other this happens and to fix this, it's very, very simple. We just have to get rid of, uh, we just have to copy this and paste it here. And instead of uh, doing this, I'm going to change this to billboard temp and just change all of these to billboard temp. And now if you play the game, that should work. But you'll see that if we press E, it just prints E and uh, to see this better, I'm going to print the nearest egg, and what will happen is, so if I just get closer to this, it prints red egg, and if I, if I get closer to this, it still prints red egg, but if I do this, then it prints basic egg, and to fix this, it's also very simple, we just have to get rid of the basic egg, uh, of the nearest egg variable, and we'll have to remove every single variable that says, uh, nearest egg so nearest egg uh, nearest egg just delete this and go back here and what I'm going to do is have a new variable here which will be nearest egg nearest egg and I'm going to have that set to nothing and now what I'm going to do is before we even print E I'm going to firstly just get rid of this print E and uh, what I'm going to do is loop through so for i comma v in pairs uh eggs can get children do and if nearest egg is equal equal to nil then nearest egg will be equal to v and after that i'm going to put an else and if on the parentheses we will also have to get the player position so in here we're gonna do and plr player dot character is not equal to nil then and in here i'm going to do if okay let's get the player position so local plr pause is equal to and plr player dot character dot humanoid root part humanoid root part dot position position and we're going to check if plr pause if plr pause uh minus nearest egg dot position dot position minus uh, v dot position instead hmm okay minus v dot position dot magnitude dot magnitude is less than uh, plr pause minus and uh, nearest egg dot position or instead let's flip this let's have this set to the nearest egg position minus plr pause and we'll just have a dot magnitude magnitude then and uh, what i'm going to do here is set the nearest egg to v and then we can print nearest egg and we'll see if this works so I can just go here and we have a an error which is very simple to fix all we have to do is change this to v.primary part dot position instead of uh, v.position so primary par dot position and that should be it and now you have to set the primary part so just select your egg uh, set the primary part to the egg mesh for all of your eggs and that should work and now if you play the game, as you can see, 
if I get closer to this, it will say basic egg. But if I get closer to this, it will say red egg. And as you can see, this works just fine. And now we will go ahead and start to work on the server side of things. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of all of these pets from the pet pack so that I only have so that I have an empty workspace. And what I'm going to do now is whenever they press E, we want to hatch an egg. And we'll also have a variable in here so called is hatching. So local is hatching. And we'll have that set to false. And in here we'll check and is hatching is equal equal to false then. And right here we will just set is hatching or before we do that I'm going to fire a remote event. So right here I'm going to add a folder inside of here and rename it to remotes. And I'm going to add a or let's rename it to egg hatching remotes and I'm just going to add a um, remote function remote function remote function and I'm going to rename this one to hatch egg or hatch server and I'm going to do local result is equal to and uh, replicated storage common way for child egg hatch remote common way for child hatch server Call invoke server. Call invoke server, and I'm going to send the. Uh, I think that would just take the nearest egg. Yes, nearest egg. And now we can just go here in the main server script, and we can just have a. Uh, we'll just do this. So local, or let's do game dot replicated storage dot remote dot uh. Egg hatching remotes. Dot. I think it's called hatch. Yes, hatch server. Dot on server invoke is equal to function, and that will take the player and the nearest and the egg. We'll just do egg, and we'll check if so. Local. Uh, we'll do local egg workspace or local egg model is equal to and workspace confined with child egg dot name and then we'll check if egg model is not equal to nil then local price local price is equal to and egg model dot price dot price dot value and then we'll have instead of let's change this to a two string two string or yes two string or yeah never mind and local uh, currency is equal to egg model dot currency dot currency uh, currency yes currency uh, dot value and then we we'll check if price if a uh, player dot leader stats leader stats square brackets currency square brackets uh, I mean uh, dot uh, value is greater or equal to the, to price then and then we can return true and else we we'll return false and now if we play if we go back here and we can just check if result if result is equal equal to true then we we'll just print hatch and then we can just go here and else print cannot hatch and we can also um, I think I'm going to try to yes add a cooldown so if this is it if this is true then we'll just do is hatching to true and we're gonna wait a couple of seconds so something like three seconds and is hatching to false and now if you play the game that should hopefully work so as you can see i have zero coins so it should take and not hatch yes good 
Now we can go ahead and get some points. So, uh, coins, uh, 500. And try to hatch. And it still says cannot hatch for some other reason. Okay, this is weird. This is fairly weird. Okay, so how do I fix this? So we have the coins. Okay, I think I got it. All we have to do is go here. And instead of doing leader stats currency, maybe we can try a confined first child currency uh currency the value is greater or equal than price then now if we just go ahead and get some coins so something like 10 or 20 go here it says cannot hatch which is not the best sign But as you can see, it's Prince of this cannot hatch. But why? Okay, I just opened studio, another studio tab by mistake. So I'll just close that. And as you can see what we have here. So if player.character is not equal to near to nil and is hatching is not equal to false. Now What if we remove this? Hopefully, that might work. But I also make sure to make to make it so that I spawn with twin two hundred coins. And I'll just get closer. And now it says this cannot hatch. But why? Oh, I get it now. I just put this back. <laughs> Sorry, but it was all already working, and I just did not print anything here. So I'm going to print hatch in. And now, if I play the game, that should work. Oh, it does not work. Cannot hatch. Why? Okay, we can just print results instead. Results. And let's see what it prints. No. Oh. So we are not getting any results. Maybe you can change this to a string. Oh. Okay, very simple to fix. I'll find this child here. And that should work. Everything should be working just fine. Now. Um, and as you can see, it's... Okay. Still prints, cannot hatch. Results. So, in here I'm going to print egg model found. And let's see if it prints that. Nope, it does not. It does not. So it didn't even, okay, very simple. Dot eggs, go and find this child. Egg, egg dot name, and that should work this time. And as you can see, it says hatching. And now we can't hatch. Now it says hatching. And as you can see, I think that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, uh, please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.